Welcome, Advent of God, you know the drill, day 23 today, three day, days to go. Um, yeah, I also actually wanted to see other what. Okay, so the second part is going to take us at least an hour. Fuck. This is bad. This is very hard year, right? Uh, only one bad task here. Two bad tasks. No, not two or three. This is terrible tasks actually in 2019. This is bad. Okay, okay. Pretty bad. Oh my god. Uh, well, embrace for long stream. Um, we are recording. We have dashboard zero viewers but that might change so let's start reading the amphipods yay more learning more about sea life a group of amphipods notice your fancy submarine and flag you down with such an impressive shell one amphipod says surely you can help us with the questions that has stumped us best scientists they go on to explain that a group of timid, stubborn amphipods live in a near, nearby burrow. Four types live there, A, B, C, D, okay. We live in a burrow that consists of a hallway and four side rooms. The side rooms are initially full of amphipods and the hallway is initially empty. Uh, diagram of situation, okay, including location of each amphipod, A, B. For example, amphipods would like a method to organize every amphipod into side rooms. So this is Sokoban, right? Good day, closure dude. Can't stay, but came to say hello. Hello, laughing the links. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's it's very nice to hear. Thanks. Amphipods can move down so long as they're moving into an occupied open space. Each type of amphipod requires a different amount of energy to move on. Amber amphipods require one energy per step. Bronze 10 energy, copper require 100, and desert plants require 1000. Amphipods would like you to find a way to organize amphipods that requires the least total energy. However, because they're timid and stubborn, the amphipods have some extra rules. Amphipods will never stop on space immediately outside any room. They can move into the space as long as they immediately continue moving. Specifically, this refers to four open spaces in the hallway. Okay, that makes it easier, I guess. Amphipods will never move from the hallway into a room unless that room is their destination room and that room contains no amphipods which do not also have that room as their own destination. If an amphipod is starting room, is not its destination room, it can stay in that room until... What? Amber of a will not move from hallway into the right three rooms and will only move into the leftmost room if that room is empty or if it only contains other... Okay, yeah, I think I get it. Once Amphibot stops moving in the hallway, it will stay in the spot until it can move into a room. That is, once any Amphibot starts moving, any other Amphibots currently in the hallway are locked in place and will not move again until they can move fully into a room. In the above example, the Amphibots can be organized as a minimum 12 for, okay, is the starting configuration. Uh, bronze Amphibots moves into the hallway, taking four steps and using Wait, what? This one sucked for me seven hours to complete. Yeah, I, I looked at Scatterplot and special second part, people solved it like in an hour. The only copper amphipod or not in its side rooms moves there, taking four steps. Wait, how can it be? On the space immediately outside, they can move into that space as long as they immediately continue on. Ah, okay, so they cannot stay here uh, on top of the room, but they can stay here. Okay. And desert amphipod moves out of the way, taking three steps and using 3000 energy. And then, uh, so B goes out, C goes into its room. D goes out of here. No, wait. C goes into his room. 
then D hollows or D goes out of its room, move to its room using 40 energy. Americans comrades give up and went to sleep. Iranians can win today. <laughs> Uh, both of the pots on the right must be removed in the hallway using 2000. I don't know, so I don't, it doesn't look too hard, but I welcome all the viewers. Uh, okay, so both of the pots in the right must be removed in the hallway using 2003 energy in total. Wait, what? Uh, let me follow it. So D goes out and stays here, right? B goes in. Then second B goes in. Move in both antipods in the right to most room. Move into the hallway. Both, both antipods. So A goes in here. D goes in here. Cool. Gets out, then both D gets in. I find the last number first. Most of the strong using eight energy. What is the energy required to organize the antipodes? And your puzzle input. So the graph is the same, right? Which is, I guess, good. Uh, interesting. This is our starting position. Okay, so what I think we should do is we should uh, make. Let's use the subtitle. Okay, so this is your code. Okay, we should make a graph, I think, right? with connections So let's remove those. This is what I'm thinking. Uh, we give each of those a number and then just try to going to be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, E, G, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, and S, right? So we, we give each of those a number. This way we can build a graph of what is connected to what, and then we just try to see who wants to move where. Okay, and just we, yeah. <laughs> okay, so if we make this graph, so A is connected to B, right? B is connected to C, C is connected to D and L. I guess it's going to be like this. Uh, D is connected to E and and backwards actually. B A C B B. Yeah, I guess like this. C is connected B D L. Right. D is connected C and E. E is connected to D, F, N. F is connected to G. 
g is connected f h p h is connected g e e is connected h g f g is connected e k uh, k is connected g right then l is c m m is l m is e o o is just m uh, p is g, g q p, q is p r is i s and s is r this well, this is our map, right? I'm sorry, I lost uh, the chat. No. Yeah, I was just. Uh, solved it by hand. <laughs> well, I think that was most the top time is for part one. See, uh, I'm not inhibitable. Rule says that you can't stand directly in front of a door. I read the rules too many times today that you can have states where the spots are inhabitable. When the pods are on the way to the hallway to the final destination. Uh, yeah, I think we will uh, somehow. Yeah, you cannot stay and see. So, but then we'll have to like invent the cost for, I don't know, for nodes, right? C E like we can connect B D E L directly without using C at all. Maybe we should do that. <coughs> and then then we'll have uh, multipliers. So this will be the whole other thing. Okay, let's we can we can try to do that. Okay, let's make this 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 and this not possible or my computer do it well yeah yeah because wait what Okay, yeah, uh, well, let's try to, to build it like this. In this case, I don't actually need this, right? It just makes it harder to see. Then we are, what we are going to do is we are going to have something like from A you can go to B and it will cost you one. From B you can go to A and it will cost you 1 and you can go to L it will cost you 2 and you can go to D it will cost you 2, right? From, in case you don't have C, D. From D you can go to uh, L. And it will cost you two. D. 
B, it will cost you 2, L, it will cost you 2, and N, it will cost you, and F, it will cost you 2, right? From D, uh, from F, same, B2, and 2, B2, H2, right? Um, yes. But we're trying to exclude the spaces. Like, yeah, I was, I was thinking about, but then you have to check if spot is occupied. So it's like immediate neighbor kind of thing. From H, you can go to F, to P, to R, and to G. Right? From G, you can go to H, R, uh, K one uh, from K you can only go to G and it will cost you one from L you can go to B it will cost you two um, B it will cost you two and L it will cost you one from N you can go to L it's one from N it's B two F two O1, uh, from O it's N1, from uh, P it's F2, H2, Q1, from Q it's P1, right? From R it's H2, G2, R2, no, no, from R is 1. From S, it's R1. Hopefully, I didn't like the passes of chocolate so that you can go only from the room from always or from always the room. Okay, I hope I didn't make any mistakes. B, A. Yeah, looks, uh, looks alright. Okay, so let's say. Um, we don't need like def graph this, right? Um, and our example, in our case, example is Okay, so this is our example, and uh, also maybe it makes sense to like this. Okay, so this is a graph, this is example, and fuck, I used letters. <laughs> and now, okay, we are going to use capital letters, right? So this is our example kind of and input is I hope this way it makes some sense, right? So uh, M L O N K S F K so C A B B B A B C 
seen. Okay, so this is really good. Okay, so now we need to solve this writing problem somehow. Okay, 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 okay. Um, well, let's lie uh, down. And <laughs> let's call it end game, right? Uh, and end game is going to be uh, a, A, B, B, C, C, B, B, right? This is our end game. Um, okay. So checking if we won is easy. This is merely a game person. Okay, 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 that's fine. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So now we need to figure out all possible moves, right? All possible moves. Basically, we take everything Let's store energy here as well Or not Okay, so for each Okay, no, that, that's not store <laughs> uh, State For each Pause uh, who in state, right? Okay, so if it's and well, actually, P, how is it called? Uh, uh, so if we are in position M, 
and our closer action. If position is M and unit is A, right? This is good if uh, this is good. Okay, so if this is not So we take four positions. Start. So we figure where we can go. Graph. Eyes on M. If eyes M, it's done. Like this, it doesn't have to move. Like this, my guy might move, but this doesn't have to move anymore. Hmm.
Bye bye. Bye. Uh, we also have to do the check when you can't you can't move into a room if there is uh, forbidden, right? Uh, it's kind of the same ish. Like, huh. oh, pop, it's so hard. Um, so you can't go here into the room, but you can go here if you're getting out of the room. Oh my god, <laughs> uh, from P A P prime, I guess, like this, right. Prime. So you can't go <sighs> okay, let me try to figure it out. Um So if somebody is in this position, you obviously can't go, right? If uh, you are moving from um, like you are, <laughs> you are not A, and you are moving to this position or this position so this it's it's unlikely you'll move to this position well yeah you're moving to l or m <laughs> you're trying to get into the room right and you're not trying to get there from m Okay, you, you can try to go from M to L, which is okay. You're unlikely to try to go from L to L. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is what we have to forbid is moving from B or D to L. Right. Okay, let's write, if you are not L, the following following are forbidden from you, for you, from L to M, right? Like you can't go back here, but you can get, try to get out of the room, kind of. Yes. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, so I'm 
so same for df ah oh, sorry dn f n and n or same from for c and for d uh, in c instead of n we have d instead of m we have q and instead of d and d we have uh, f and h i don't know why i read it as bambos okay so instead of p here we have r instead of f we have h and j and r else Okay, so you're not forbidden uh, when not forbidden um, state p r t prime, right? So if we're trying to move and it's not forbidden and it's not final state, so we try to move. Okay, so what do we do about So if we try to explore the space this way, possibility space, it might just go like this, right? What do we do with it? Hmm. So maybe we have to track configurations that we have seen um, Okay, so kind of energy is going to be plus energy dist multiply dist case A. Oh, actually, A, B, C, D, and the cost goes 10. One ten hundred thousand. One ten hundred thousand, right? This is energy plus is going to be plus prime and C C conch C plus. Um, done, 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 done. And we also need to check kind of Okay, so let's start with input loop, maybe, I'll think loop, right? If we found an end game 
we just return energy. Otherwise, we say reduce um, moves from state, right? Um, main. What if there are no valid moves? It would mean Whatever, uh, long max value, right? Okay, something, it's not happy about something. Still, I have not solved for input and zero. Okay. It doesn't work. Cool. Hmm. Well, it's also So it feels like it's oscillating still between two possibilities, right? So I think scene has to be like an atom or something. like it's the same everywhere uh, okay let's take our flow cool. Hmm. 
is it really different or am I missing something? Well, apparently I don't know a thing about something. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> yeah. Our algorithm doesn't work for some reason. What is the reason? I don't know. I think the reason is we are not using breads first. This, we should be using breads first, right? Uh, and we should cut branches that... We should cut branches once, once we find any reasonable solution. Why breads first solution exploded. Okay. Good to know. Oops. So let's say we have, I don't see the point of passing sin here. This is what we are going to do. Reset scene. This reset main long max area. Kill this. Depths. Well, depths is good for debugging.
Okay, this is wrong, right? It's too, it's a lot. I don't really need seam fields. If we cut by no, no, we do <laughs> Yeah, we don't need seam. Of course we need seam. Need seam. I think the problem is we go into scene, we might go to the same state with different costs, right? The thing has to be a map which actually um, maps. It's weird. Yeah. Okay. So we need scene. Uh, scene is going to be a map. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I didn't do scene as so close. I sort of forgot. I recommend the progress bar. Progress bar of what? Of how many states visited? How do I figure how many states are visited?
Let's see if it even finds anything. So it found some stuff, yes, but way too much, and then it stopped. So it's now exploring something, we don't know what. Hmm. Oh yeah, it does make sense, kind of, but not really. feels to me that we should prioritize moving D always, right? Kind of sort by second reverse. Like our positions are like this, and we would like to move D first. No, no, it doesn't seem like it. This looks better, but it still hasn't finished. Fuck. Okay, so I'm stuck on the first one. <laughs> I just feel stupid. Okay, 
we don't need this plus I think. Um, okay, so one thing thought that I have is which column means what here uh, energy depth scene plus we're pretty close right we we like close ish but um more trivial example, huh? Um, what I'm thinking instead is made like you mean it's okay. You can try it. Yes, yeah, sure. So let's say we have a a b b d c d like this, right? A, A, B, D, Q, where is Q, Q, C, Q, D, P, D, D, C. Let's call it example zero. Well, it seems to finish in time. Hmm. Let's put more B A A B B A. Okay, now it's in trouble. Hmm. No, it also finishes, okay. Hmm. Let's see, maybe there is some obvious... What? What is this? Part... Oh, my God. Make sense? It's a very deep recursion, right? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so I had a thought that maybe we make a transitive closure of this graph so that and then just forbid the stuff that you cannot move into, like you can move from M to A for example, but you need to cross B and L, kind of. How? Hard would be to write such a map. Okay, from A you can go to B with the cost of 1, to D with the cost of 3, to F with the cost of 5, to H with the cost of 7, 
So G is equals to 9 and to K is equals to 10 to L 1, 2, 3 to M 4 to M side 3, 4, 5 or 6 uh, P is like F 7 Q8 R it's like H H is 7 9 and S 10 right once you're in the hallway you can only go back to the rooms what really is this a room this is a really good point actually and so we like technically we cannot go to b from a right or to d or to f or to h or to g or to k so transitive closure is a good idea actually wow nice 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 this is helpful thank you L M N O P Q R S. Okay. So from B we can go to kind of the same stuff, just one less, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, P Q. Okay, so 1, 2, 3 to L, 4 to M, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, yes. Okay, so in C we cannot be, right? From D we kind of um, go to L in 2, to M in 3, to N in 2, to O in 3, to P in 4. One, two, three, four, to Q in five, to R in six, and to S in seven, right? <sighs> from F, okay, from F we can go to L in one, two, three, four, four, to M in five, to R M in two, O in three, P in two, Q in three. Uh, R in 4, right? F1, 2, 3, 4, and S in 5. Okay. F, uh, H. <laughs> okay, H, 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 H. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Kind of 6 to L. Yes. 7 to L. Um, one, two, three, four, five, P two, four, three, two, three. Okay, from J we can go to hmm. to L. How long to L? It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, okay, eight, nine, um, six, seven, I assume, four, five, two, three, right? And finally, from K, we can go to L. Um, mm -hmm. it's like one more like nine ten seven eight five six three four okay cool um 
And now maybe we also make it that you can go from room to hallway. It's an inter intermediate step, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Let's... Nah. <laughs> it's not worth it. Okay, so let's go. Uh, we did all this. From aisle, we can go to A in 1, 2, 3, to B in 2, to D in 2. Uh-huh. Dean two um to F four to H and six to J eight and to K in nine. Okay, so from K to L nine, nine, yeah, L to K to nine. So I am thinking that there is no reason to move inside rooms, right? You either get out of the room into the hallway or you move from hallway to another room like there's no reason to go between l and m for example right for what what, the, what would be the point yeah it feels like there is no reason to yeah okay so let's skip this. So from L, oh, from M, basically M is M is the same, but plus one for everything, right? Four, three, three, five, seven, nine, ten. Okay, let's do check. So F five, F to M five. Yeah. Okay, so now we do pair of n. So n go to a one, two, three, four, five, five, b four, d two, f two, uh, h four, g six, and k seven. M is plus one. Oh, so it's not M, it's O plus one to everything. Three, three, five, seven, eight. Now P. Okay, P to A, we can look seven, B six, uh, D four, F two, H two, J four, K five, K three, Q. Same but plus one. Uh, eight, seven, five, three, three, five, six, and R finally to A A A to R is nine to B eight. Six, four, two, two, three, and same but for S is ten, nine, seven, um, F five, three, three, four. Okay, so this graph I like much more. Okay, so let's redefine this graph. And we also need a map called on pass, uh, which is going to be basically which keys are on pass from where to where. So let's say we go from A to B, it's nothing. Uh, we can't go from A to B, we can go from A to L, it's B, right, A to M, it's B, L, 
A2M, it's... Fuck, this is going to be long, right? Uh, uh. I probably should not try this by hand, actually. Yeah, let's not try this by hand. I don't like this. And I don't like this. Uh, um, <laughs> Let's just write down a graph of what is connected to what. A is connected to B, B is connected to A, C. Right. C is connected to B, B, A, B is connected to C, C, C is connected to D, F, N, and let's say that F is connected to D, F, G, G is connected to and M uh, and P right H is connected to J I E is connected to H J R J is connected to I and K. Nah. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven by six, thirty two, right? That's forty two pairs, which is kind of a lot, but maybe kind of not a lot. Uh, Okay, I'm returning to this idea B D F uh. on AJ, but there's no 
Now we're there. Okay, so this is first in seven. So we can go from A, from B, from D, from F, from H, from J, and from K. Okay. So this will be from B, from B to L, nothing, from B to M, L, from B to M, just B, or basically just remove <laughs> B everywhere, right? Um, okay, from B to S, it's D, F, yeah. Okay, now from D, right? We kind of remove BD from everywhere. So BM is directly, BM is L, and BL is direct. Okay, uh, F. Okay, so from F we can go to B directly, right, and to closer B. We can go to M directly. But to go to M, we go to through M the L, and uh, just go there. And to R, we go through IH, IH. Are you bored? I am bored. But maybe I should have solved it by hand. Okay, from H we go to R directly. Right? To Q we go through P. To P we go directly. To O we go through FL. Uh, from H to O we go through F. The just F to M we go F the L and F the right yeah. okay J and it's very possible that mistakes fucking hell from J to S we go to R to R directly to Q H P to P just H to O H F N to N H F to M we go H F D L H F D okay. Finally K K is more like this Okay, so from K we go everywhere the same, but we add J first, right? Kind of. Okay, so. <laughs> now the magic ha have to happen and we are going to somehow convert this mess into keywords right? okay um let me actually remove it from here Okay, so what we do is we go like this. So this is going to be set. This is going to be a set as well. Right. And here everything is going to be Can I do actually maybe 
replace in selection uh, regex sprite az Okay, but maybe maybe we don't do this here as well. So Maybe it's dollar zero actually. Yeah, it's dollar zero, and also don't like it this way. Okay. Um, and this is going to be a map, right? So this kind of simplifies us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So done is okay. Done forbidden contains both true. Um, Any, there is any, right? No. Some also on path. Uh, so basically, we need on path for P and P sharp. These are positions that we want to test, and some of them contains. So some of them are taken, right? So if some of them are taken, uh, it's also forbidden. And you also are forbidden entering a room. You probably also don't want to go into a room Okay, so this says if you're not A, you can't go B, L, B, L. BCD, B uh, and O, P Q and R S, and I think you also if there is nothing in M, you are not allowed to go to hell right. mm 
And if there is nothing in O, there is no reason to go to M. If there is nothing in Q, there is no reason to go to P. And if there is nothing in S, there is no reason to go to R. Okay. Um, And we get absolutely crazy numbers. Uh, well, that's actually long max value, probably. Fuck. Mm, what did we change? Not much. We changed weights. Right. It feels like it couldn't find any any moves. Yeah, it couldn't find any moves. Why? Huh. There's nothing I've seen. Okay, why is there is no moves? Did it change anything? No. Right. So we take uh, uh, Okay, so we don't even print anything, so it means the graph B doesn't work. Oh. Now we print something. Move A from N to A. A from N. So A from 
cannot yeah we cannot move a right move b from l wait what and a from m which which problem was solved Move A from N. This A, right? Uh, we can move to A, to B, to D. Actually, why? Why it's forbidden? I don't know. Okay, so let's say we want to move from N. To A. It's actually will be M A. We check B and D, right? B and D. It should be empty. Oh, because it's lazy, fucking hell. Because it's lazy. Fuck me. No. No, not because it's lazy. Okay, we print this. State. Okay, now I'm confused. Huh. Now I'm kind of confused. Let's reconnect. I've been stupid. Okay. Uh, we actually need to do it like this, of course. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. Where do we start? We start here. Okay. Move A from M. Move A from N. M. This cannot move. Cool. Move A from N. This A, right? A from N to A. New BD new. 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 BD new. Ah, 
how we get through fracking of this. Okay, so now we don't need this, we don't need this. I think we can move this here. Okay. So from A to N we get branch four. from N to A. How? Okay, because, oh my fucking God. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So now it should Yeah, I guess now we, we kind of work. We just okay. Fucking finally, finally we can solve the example. See if we can solve the actual problem. So it's slightly better, right? This is slow. Uh, I'm kind of worried if we, we, we have a mistake here uh, and for P um, graph p prime cost in m when not equal c get in graph p Okay, this seems valid. Kind of. Still calculating, right? We don't know. We don't actually know. Um, I'm still curious if you move expensive thing first. Why don't you get the answer faster? Hmm. No, it's not gonna cut it.
This is supposedly all the same maps, right? MA, QC, PC, yeah, this is the same. This is this final solution because, because it's final solution. There's no reason to bring them down. Uh, pass to the solution would be interesting for sure. But if you would drag, drag that, it would be bad, bad, bad. <laughs> and part two is even worse, right? Cool, 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 cool. Okay, two minutes. And yeah, it's not even the right answer. Oh, it's the right answer. That's a lot. That's a lot. Should we try to improve it? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, I'm glad we didn't make a mistake, at least yet, anywhere. Okay. So it took two minutes to find the solution. And I honestly don't know what could be done differently. Like maybe it's going to be faster. Are you sure? Unless there are always places for them to go to. Hmm. But uh, fuck. We need a program that uh, builds those, right? This, like writing those by hand is no go. Certainly. And. Uh, No, not Perl program. I can do it in Clojure. Why? Why would I need a Perl program? Like Clojure has macros. I can generate Clojure in Clojure. So it's even simpler. Um, Okay, first of all, let's try to to give everything A, B, C, D, A, G, C, C, D, A, G, K, L, 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 L,
we don't have enough letters, right? I don't remember all permits all that well. Uh, are, we, are I missing any letters? one letter okay it is going to be letter <laughs> uh, first I was like no way but then I mostly keep the graph keep the graph and convert to Jones from has or does not have a thing to has a stack of things hmm. Yeah, it feels like rooms don't need to be like the whole graph thing, right? Yeah, I know. I mean, it feels like we can make... Well, first of all, we don't need these letters, right? And second of all, uh, we can actually... There is no sense in keeping rooms as a graph structure. Instead, we kind of make them special. and deduce the cost from that, right? So basically there are two operations, right? Getting out of the room and getting into the room. And for all of those we need like A, B, C, D, A, F, G, H, E, G, K. So forget about this, right? So this is our new graph. And we are going to build a new map. <laughs> Well, so from A to H is one, two, three, or two, or are we calculating to get to the top, or to the topmost cell? Now let's get uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. F, G, E, G, K, L, right? This is the same. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, K, H, E, G, K, like this. Okay, so from A to C, it's going to be 2. From A to E, to be four from uh, A to G 
3 is going to be 6, and how of the E is going to be 8, right? Same from B. Um, but one less, 3, 5, 7, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So C, we don't have, well, we do kind of have C from C to A2, B1, D1. Uh, we don't jump from room to room, right? Well, we do, but there is no reason. Yeah. So. F3, H4, G7, and K9. Uh, D, okay, so from D we can go to C in 1, to E in 1, um, to G in Three and to E in five. All right. It's like linear thing. thing. Let me actually mark those. I don't know how to mark those. Okay, but anyways. So from A, E, we want to go to E, which will take 1, 2, 3, 4. To B will take 3, and to D will take 1. And from F to take 1, to H to take 3. And to G to take 5, and to K to take from F we are going to C in 3, E in 1, G in 1, uh, E in 3. Right? From G we are going to A in 6, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, B in 5, D in 3, F in 1, H in 1, G in 3, and K in 5. G from H we go to C, E, 5, to E in 3, to G. E we go to A, A in 8, B in 7, D in 5, F in 3, H in 1, J in 1, and K in 2. From G we go to C in 7, Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To E in five, to G in three, and to E in one. And from K we go to C in eight, to E in six, to G in four, to E in two. Okay, so this is our graph. Let me actually. Okay, so uh, 
So say, let's say we have example two, which will have uh, example two is going to have rooms, right? And rooms are C, E, G, and A. C, E, G, and I. And in this case, it's B, D, D, A. B, D, D, A. In case of E, C, C, D, D. A, C, B, D. case of G is B, B, A, C, B, B, A, C, and uh, D, A, C, A. Okay, so these are rooms, positions, is going to be empty map because uh, all hall right, like that, right? Hallway, I don't know. Energy zero and what else we need? Depths. I don't care about depths. Really. Okay, so this is our example two, right? And we have graph two, kind of. So now we have two types of moves, right? One is get from the room, and another one is to get into the room, right? just keep like everybody like rooms will be stacks like this and um, normal hallway will be just single unit right We kind of want a function moves it kind of takes the same pause and energy and kind of does does the same from all. 
pause, right? So we try to like we're trying to figure out how many moves do we have from a single position, right? From like okay, moves maybe moves from okay let's say we have moves from and we have pause and p which is position where we uh, and maybe if C E G I P is going to be moves from room pause P or moves from hallway pause P, right? So it's like two different things. Um, Moves from room. Okay, so we know this is a room C, right? For, for example, C. Um, So fucking hard. <laughs> so what we kind of want to do is we want to check that this room has a thingy. Okay, so there are few possibilities. If it's a room C and it only has units of A, right? There are no, mo no moves from, from there. If it's a room uh, E and it only has Bs, it's, there is no move. If it's a room G and it only has C, there is no move. If it's a room called P and only has G, it's no. Um,
Is this a word? Happy times. Okay, let's say. If the room is empty, we don't know what to say. If the room is only inhabited by folks who are there, right? Who are supposed to be there. And there is also no moves. In every other case, Every other case, we take the first guy from there, right, and we move him from from the room to somewhere <laughs> outside. Um, so the first guy is who is going to be first drop Neil room, right? The first not Neil uh, guy is who we are moving out. And basically, we are going to. Okay, so now I have to figure out in what format we are going to present it. So like, we probably need to calculate the new room somehow, yes. Uh, the new room will be... Filter, take while new room, right? Uh, can cut meals, meal, um, okay, let's call it habitants, uh, drop while meal, um, if it's empty and here we actually going to say equals eighty percent habitants um so who is going to first require There is a function called split with. Take one split with. Yeah, yeah, probably. News habitants split with new room. Take while new, drop while new. Okay, so this works. This is our new room, right? Now, where could this guy go? Um, technically, for uh, P prime in. Um, so from room A, B, A, B, D, F, H, J, K. So this are uh, what he can go. Basically not rooms, right? Um, 
So you can always go into the hallway as long as you are not obstructed, right? Um, and for this we are probably are going to need this AC, AE, AG, AE, right? Same for B, same for D, same for F. Same for H, G, and K, right? So let's see, uh, did I copy this? Yes, uh, from A to C, we're going to need B, B, D, B, D, F, B, D, F. H from B to C nothing from B to E going to C D uh, D F with H from D to C nothing from D to E nothing from D to G F F H from F to C going to see D from F to E nothing from F to G nothing from F to H H to C okay so actually I'm going to do this this is easier this way from H to C so F D from H to E F from H to G nothing from H to E nothing from J to C HFD, HF, H, nothing, OK to C, G, HFD, GHF, GH, HG. OK, and this is on the hull of our map. Right, we are going to move from C to A, from C to B, from C to D, from C to F. <laughs> uh, yeah, and so from C to A, we will be B, from C to B, nothing, C to B, nothing, C to F, B, C to F. A, C to G, C to H, F, and C to G, F, H, F, H, G. Okay, so this is C, D, E. From E to A, we're going to C, D, B. C to H D F. Uh oh, this was dangerous. Um, mm -hmm. From E to A D B A D E F F E H F E G F H F H Right. Kind of yes. This is from E now from G. Oops. From G to A. Okay. Here. So 
So from G to A, we are going to need F, 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 G to F, nothing, G to H, nothing, so like this, okay. H. So after H, we have E. Okay, this is the last one, right? Uh, so we add H here. Hopefully, again, I didn't fuck it up anywhere. I really hope for that. Also, no idea how this is going to fast this is going to be. Okay, and the magic AZ, we're going to replace dollar zero. Right. This is not going to be. Okay, and So this has 56 lines. How many is this? Uh, so it's the same? Wow. Interesting. I figured there was more opportunities. Why is, is it the same? Because we decided we shouldn't go. Yeah, probably not. On pass to on um, and Okay, so this is our kind of goal. When can go pause P prime? So is there any actual We need to also get cost, right? Cost A. And the cost is This is our cost function, right? Uh, 
what do we do is we generate new positions which will have pause pause a sock p room prime and p prime hole right so we update room and we energy plus energy Right, and uh, these are the possible moves. Oh, no, 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 oh, fucking hell. Uh, we can, act, we, we need actually uh, <laughs> let cost is plus cost. We, because we're getting out of the room, we also need to multiply the amount of meals. Count meals, right? So how many empty spaces we need to go. So for example, if we're staying here, like our cost C to B is uh, one, right? For example, C to B is one, yes. But actually if we're staying here, we need to make two steps so but in this case we're zero so increase um, increase amount of meals and multiple it to, to this so this is the cost of getting out of the room Right, and this are our moves. After that, we can see what. Huh. <gasps> I did the stupidest thing. I didn't have to <laughs> go. This is uh, like reversible, right? So we didn't need, we can kill all, fuck, now, now it's, now it's, okay, so we kind of wrote this function. So now we need to write a function moves from hallway, <sighs> which is going to be similar ish. from hallway, hallway. So what is special about uh, moves from hallway? Well, well, so first of all, it has to be the same the correct type of room right second it must only contains contain stuff 
that is supposed to be there. And third kind of uh, it must have space, but if it only contains stuff that uh, it's supposed that's supposed to be there, it's guaranteed to have space, right? And then we just basically do cost, which is not that hard ish. Okay, 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 okay. So let who is going to be post P, right? Uh -huh. um, So if we are in hallway, we want if we are in hallway, we want the room that basically P prime is just a lookup in A if we go to C room. B, we want to. I should have renamed it, but E, C. Yeah. Okay, so now, now I see that. I should have renamed it. I, I should have used A, B, C, D for this four button drops. But that would mean redoing this and redoing this, and I'm not prepared to do that. Um, so moving from hallway is kind of simple. You only want to go to the room that you want to, right? And um, basically when can go from... Uh, Okay, so we need this. Let's call it pass clear. Pass clear from p to p prime right so only if pass is clear there's only one move we can do actually but we're supposed to return a set um, okay so room is going to be pause p prime right So this room is supposed to have only the same type of thing you're looking for. And the pass is clear, so we're basically this sock pause P. Or rather, yeah, this of course P, and um, we may be let we need this Neil's habitats room prime is going to be can cut next Neil, so one less Neil. Uh, who and habitants and energy uh, 
we're going to actually calculate cost. So cost of some kind of like look up in a graph, right? Plus okay, so this is tricky. So say we need to go to the top and we from B to C it's one and there is one new, right? So it feels like we don't need king here, kind of, right? Okay, so suppose there is zero, there is one new, right? Um, and we need to, to go from B to C. So actually, the cost will be two. And this is count news plus count years, something like this. Cost. Well, actually, you know what? This could be even simpler. this uh, so this is the same just don't forget that we need to increase like this okay okay looks terrible <laughs> I'll be honest it's it looks horrible. Um, we still are solving. Oh no. That's all I'm going to see in the background. Okay. Um, so we take each move, right? We remove the ones that have bigger energy than in scene basically this loop was kind of the same So end the game is basically every sequels E G and R A B C D. Right. Basically, it means there is no there are no nails. Um, I just noticed a mistake here. Uh, 
Okay. So move from okay, again to so what we do right now is Well, I can call it in the game actually. It's I'm planning to reuse this to implement the first one, right? So state. Even reset in energy, energy, right? Or action. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we probably want some print. Okay, um, energy pause. Otherwise, we do map solve to move. So this would, this is uh, hmm. moves to right. So moves to is going to be P um, position and who is in this position um, this is kind of moves to right Okay, so do we set do we set mean? Is it mean when we found something? And we don't in this case we swap scene. Um, 
So kind of solve two and part two is kind of this. C okay. So part two example with example Wait, what with new example where is our example with example to action plus Okay, now it kind of tries to work, right? So two, three, or four. Okay. If the energy that we found, if we seen this, and energy is bigger. Return list here, right? And we return list here. Kind of. And we return list here as well. Reach possible posh position. We like basically flatten the list. <sighs> You know what we should do? We should do actually example. We should redo example in this manner, right? So actually our example is going to be C A C uh, C E is going to be B V uh, G is going to be A B and E is going to be C B. So we know example is solvable, right? Okay. Right, one, two, four, five. Pause is new. Wait, what? Move two, two eighty one, and then two forty five. clear uh, this is just wrong lines 
<laughs> okay, so these lines are better. 87, 51. 87 is this. 51 is this. Right? Moves from room, room. Ah, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, because we need state here, full state. Yeah, state. Well, basically, state, full state, 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 like this. What we need is actually graph two. We on pass two. We, we decide against this. We need graph two. All right. Okay. <laughs> so this is an original example, right? And it is supposed to work, kind of, but it didn't. Which is pretty bad for us. Because... Because this means we fucked up somewhere and we don't know where. Could be in this table, could be in this table, could be in cost function. Right.
<laughs> no. It's the number. Um, hmm. Okay, so here we have no. Something is wrong. This is wrong. This is the worst when you make a mistake in this fucking table and doesn't even affect anything. Okay, now graph 2 seems more correct, on pass 2 seems also better, in better shape, but the answer is still wrong. Let's maybe print points here just to see. Pause feels okay. The cost seems wrong, right? Rewrite examples here in our shape. So example zero two is going to be C uh, B. A, E, A, B, C, E, G, A, B, C, and A, B, C, B, C, B, right. Or 
have 646. So this, in this case, we get the right answer. Part one, part one. Wait, part one now stops working. Uh, this is because I redefined it. But okay, let's let me move this example to example two actually. Okay, this is a number that we should be getting, and this is a number that we are getting. So it works for simple cases, but somewhere in there there is a bug. I don't know what it is. And this is getting boring. Graph looks all right. Graph looks all right. So this thing looks kind of all right as well, right? D, BDF, BDFH, DF, DF, DFH, FFH. This looks all right as well. Uh, so at this point, you're supposed to write unit tests, which you don't want to do. Three hours. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, this is like I don't want to participate in this anymore. Forbidden. See me move some for one graph example two. Uh, 
Maybe I can spot some obvious problem. Like say you're sitting here and you want to go here. So you one, two, three, right? And distance here is one. There is one new and plus one that you're doing. On the other hand, if Everything is new. You want to go here, you go one, two, three. This is one and two meals, right? So kind of right. I don't see a problem here. We can actually save a uh, path. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. We save a path. And we visualize it. All right. So if uh, it found some solution, and there are two possibilities, really. Like, either we calculating cost wrong. In that case, we could um, just analyze what's going on step by step, right? Or we, for some reason, we are not finding the proper solution at all. And in this case, uh, the fact. But we need to figure out which is which. Right? Okay, so we start with uh, pass like this. Um, here we also use pass. Pass conch. An energy. <laughs> we basically just remember pure state. Okay.
Okay, this way we remember everything. <gasps> no, 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 I'm sorry. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. So now somehow uh, we need to learn how to visualize paths. So this is about how many we need to visualize. Okay. <laughs> well, the best visualization would be something like this, right? Boom, 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 boom. Actually, just pre pre okay. Um, pre print your energy, right? Then we do kind of print force A or nothing, right? Force B or nothing. Just nothing. This is going to be a string. Uh, D. We actually want to print name of the things. Then we are going to print the line string to spaces first pause. Kind of like that, right? Space, 
space space so C E G well, actually first we are going to replace this end do seek um, do times e count Okay, and now when grab grab okay okay um Okay, uh, let's try to see what we get. Okay, so we, get, we got something, right? <coughs> so this is our path. In this case, we take A out and we get NG3. One, two, three. Makes sense. Then we get the second A out and we get six more so one two three four five six feels uh, correct then we get 59 because we take this b out right 50 and it's like it says it's five so one two three four five okay 59 uh, fair enough then, then we get 2059. In this case, we take D out from here, put it here. 2000, 2000, yeah, sounds correct. Then we add 200, right? And 200, we, uh, in this situation, we take this C out of the hole. Yeah, seems fair then we get three more hundred and this is because this c goes one two three okay fair enough then we got 30 in this case one two three b goes out right of the way then we get seven thousand uh, D goes in. One, two, three, four, five. Five thousand. Yeah, there, okay. Then three more thousand because D. One, two, three. Yeah, seems correct so far. Then we get. 619 that means we got 30 it means b some b moved for three one two three yes uh wait what oh you got in, in here okay yes 13 yes sure b got in here and then Thirty more, yes. Now three hundred, three hundred. Uh, C from this down it goes up. One, two, three. Okay. A go goes in for one, two, three. Uh, then four thousand somehow. One. Three, four. D gets in place. Um, then fifty four B. 
16, just 16. No, 16. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this thing drops here. Then uh, 400 for 4 C. And then finally 3 for A, B, C. Okay, so this is kind of bad because <sighs> it means it didn't it calculates it right but it didn't find the proper solution for some reason Somehow our original starts with a better uh, estimate than the end result. <laughs> Even like the first guess is better than fuck. How how is this possible? You forgot something. How many steps was there, by the way? Just curious. 17. It's way too long. Way too long.
way too long, way too long, way too long. Well, it doesn't depend on the order, which is kind of good. There's always one move from room, right? Always one. Uh, it feels like, like if the cost function is right and if we are not cutting branches unnecessary, it feels like we are not seeing some branches, right? So let's examine this. If there is nobody in the room, not going away. If the room is C and everybody in C is A, right? We are not moving all. There's no reason for that. This room is E and everybody is B. Well, we can kind of... Okay. I'm not sure this will work, but who knows. Otherwise, we remove the first guy. So we update the room, right? And we put our guy and uh,
You're not allowed to move in the hallway. When support stops moving in the hallway, it will spin that spot until we can move into a room. And we only can move into the own room, right? Um, it feels like we are missing moving from room to room. But... But that works by moving from room to hallway and then from hallway to room, right? Why isn't it working? I wasted the whole fucking day for it. It's like wasted day. I don't like Advent of Code anymore. It's not fun. 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 So the last condition is a little bit unclear. Like, does it mean that if I can move into a room, I can move in the hallway? Probably not, right?
I know, I don't know what to do. Give the wrong answer. And it does. <laughs> it takes longer to find it. <laughs> uh, but it does the right answer, like in a simple case, right? <sighs> Well, what if we do input it's like this in the input to RC AC G G G G G It gives the same answer to what? So this part one input. It would be stupid if what I was I was testing on the wrong thing all this time. What the fuck? Why is oh my god, I was testing on the wrong input on the example zero two. I did the wrong example. <laughs> so example two is supposed to be B A C D B C D A. So if this is the case, it would be mega stupid. Fuck! Ah! I was, I was like, it was working fucking correctly, I was just testing on the input, not on the example. Oh my god, and it, it does it like much faster fuck 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 okay okay we are good let's uh, try this example two for phone one for four one six nine right yes Okay, now we need um, input to actually. Uh, input to. And it's kind of like that, but not really. Um, fuck. So it's kind of like that. Yes. But we need to insert stuff inside the instant. B, C, D, 
D, E, C, B, B, A, and A, C. So like we supposed to insert this stuff, right? Funny how I had the I had the working perfect solution all the time. Uh, well, there is a lesson somewhere, but I don't know what it is. Fuck, 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 fuck me. But okay, so let's clean this up. So we don't need this, right? We don't need this. And we don't need simple example, actually. We need just example. Um, wait, B, A, C, D, so this is just example, right? And A, C, D, D is actual problem. Okay, so this is example, uh, and this is input, and game done forbidden, we don't need, uh, moves, solve part one well part one we kind of need let's move it there okay example two uh, so this is what we need actually uh, it's just just example and just input Yes. I should uh, believe in myself more. I got the working solution. It's so bad. <laughs> okay, so graph example to input to on pass. Okay. Uh, so kind of let me copy this for example to and this for input to right? and kind of the way it works is by ending uh, b b d E C C D D okay um, B A and A C. So the beauty is we just copy this here on pass pass clear on pass. Moves from there's some graph tool. Let's kill that. There's pass, moves. And the game. Uh, print state. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, solve to moves to part to input energy we don't use depths anymore part one part two <coughs> is the same and then we have example input example two input two right and we don't want that okay uh, part one input for example, part two input to actually yeah, this. Okay. Do we print anything? Yeah. 
Uh, actually, you cannot run this concurrently because I'm using global state. Um, hmm. We can get rid of it actually. So here we are going to uh, use sin and me, right? Sin, me, okay, okay. Okay, remove those. Um, So we don't probably need to keep previous states, right? Because I suspect, okay, so let's see, like the problem number two, we solve it in one and three seconds, right? Let's remove previous state. Um, for some reason, I suspect that it might be costly to, I don't know, calculate hash function. No, not really. Okay, it's it's free. <laughs> okay. Um, what else can we do to clear this up? Pass clear uh, on pass input example to. Well, maybe I do it like that. So, the just in case I don't make the same mistake of It also looks like a skull.
just because I confused uh, like this illustration and where input was specified I now want to make it super future proof even though nobody needs it okay so this is what we do input graph actually goes under here and I also want to make some comment about how spaces are allocated like in here right so i'm doing the same basic setup to to be clear what why is this yeah, the way it is oh my god today was the day when I realized it might it's not all fun in games what? Symbol box string. Oh, actually, this box string can go. Case and go like this. Okay, this is this is even better. even solves it in a reasonable amount of time which is good I think so the problem is like kind of towers of Tano Hanoi right sort of is slightly more empty space I would say
ones as well. And if we don't have print, we don't need press, right? Okay, looks great, looks great, looks great, looks great. <sighs> but I am annoyed, but... I'm glad we are so... Four hours. It is. It's been four hours. It's, I have no words, and I'm also extremely hungry. Uh, lots of people. Nine people right now. I've seen. Well, it was like around, around fourteen in the middle. So cool. I guess you guys like to see people suffering. <laughs> um, so two days to go, right? And I hope there are easy days because like I've had hard days. I don't want hard days anymore. I want easy days. Mm, even being consistent doesn't get me up. Like this guy didn't solve five last days and he's still performing better than me. Well. Last one will be the I hope for that, yes, uh, certainly. Let's, let's check. So this, last year it was super easy. Here it was not super easy, here it was super easy. Super easy, super easy. Yeah, last day is most probably super easy. Tomorrow is not necessarily, right? Hopefully, but not necessarily. mind blow four hours but if I like I got to the right solution pretty like fast or maybe 30 minutes I was just stuck with not understanding with have with the right solution but checking on the wrong input so it's that's unfortunate um, other than that thanks for watching I guess until tomorrow you need to get only one star for the last day what last day has one star no the two stars i know the, the time is different the two, the two different stars i know anyways uh yeah looking forward hopefully tomorrow will be will go gentle on us and we won't need four hours but uh yeah thanks for watching uh, that's it for today bye bye